this is James at Falcon's Fury Harley Davidson, and today, by popular demand, we're gonna do a review on the FX DR. Stick around. Alright, and here we go. Taking out the FXDR. A lot of people have been asking for this, so here you go. First of all, I do want to apologize if the video and audio on this don't come out as good as normal. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties right now. We hope to get it sorted out soon, so I apologize for the slightly blurry picture, and uh, I don't know how the vocals are going to pick up, so we'll see. Anyway, so... FXDR. This is one of those bikes which is a very much love it or hate it uh, sort of Harley Davidson. Beautiful. Oh, love how it turns though. It's um, it's great. This is what they call a sports cruiser, which I'm not a big fan of of that uh, of that nomenclature, but that's what it is, a sports cruiser. And the, I, I have to fix this mirror. It's <laughs> should have done that at the dealership. But there we go. Alright, so heading over the bridge, we'll always talk about the comfort of the motorcycle. So how is the FXDR? Well, it's not massively comfortable for me, personally. Um, and I, I think it's probably just something to do with my size, my height. Um, but I feel very much like, um, I'm kind of like a taco, you know, my arms are forward and my legs are forward. And it's, um, it's not... It's not great now. If if you follow these channels, you'll know I fractured my tailbone, and so young Nate's been doing all these videos for a while. I'm back on the bike now, but this one is um, this seat's actually not very comfortable for me. But again, we're all built differently, so one man's uh, uncomfortable seat is another man's comfortable seat, I suppose. Speed on this thing's great. It's got that Milwaukee 8114 engine, and it it just flies. It's really good. It's got a really nice grumble. This has obviously stock pipes on and it sounds great. You could, uh, you know, you could change them out, um, get yourself a little bit more growl, but right from the factory, it's not that bad, actually. It sounds pretty muscular, it sounds pretty sporty. One thing, one thing I am noticing on this, there is vibration in the handlebars, and this is something which, you know, is to do with the clip-on handlebars. It's it definitely has more vibration than a, than a Harley Davidson. And what I mean is, I know Harley Davidson do blah, 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 they do that big vibration thing, but this one has more of a high pitched, uh, high pitched vibration. That doesn't really make sense because high pitch. But anyway, you know what I mean. It's just, it's a buzziness to the to the handlebars. You just notice it. it's not uncomfortable or unpleasant. It's just, it's something to note. It's there. Man, this thing corners beautifully. It corners so nicely. I mean, that's what they mean when they say a sports cruiser. What they mean is a motorcycle which it's kind of a cruiser but it's also pretty fast for a cruiser and you know the shocks on this it's it's much more sport orientated and you can really feel that on the corners like the one we just hit there is fantastic it just whoop, leans right over and that brings us to a uh, lean angle on this is great you can really really get this thing over um, not quite to sport bike levels but it's not that far off to be honest this this thing will lean and as you'll, you'll see that when we get into more of the twisties, hopefully, in a little bit. It's nice today, because there's no, um, there's no traffic. I can just do my thing, carry on. And it sounds great, and I don't know if the microphone, like I say, it's probably not going to pick up the way the engine sounds. But it sounds great. This 114 has got an absolute ton of power. But this, yeah, the vibration's definitely there in the handlebars. You can feel it. It's something to sort of, it's something to note if you come and test drive this. Let's see how the engine braking work on this. And 
Oh, it's, it's so good, man. That 114 engine. When you, you engine brake on it, it just... It really slows it down, but it's smooth. You know, it's not jarring in any way. You're gonna... Oh, thank you. He's letting me go. That's lovely. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Get on my own side, James. All right, let's give it some... Yeah, it goes. <laughs> it will go, you know, I mean... I know people always make fun of me, it's like, oh, you said the Harley Davidson was a rocket. This one kind of feels like a rocket. It's, it's, um... It's got some... It's got some power, certainly. The torque is massive. And these corners are... They're really fun on this bike, actually. Uh, they, you can just... You can fly around them. <laughs> I love these twisties on this bike. It's a fun bike to ride. That is, there's no doubt about that. It's not a bike you could be on, you know, long distance. I don't think it'd be very comfortable for long distance, but for short little trips and whipping around, it's great. And now we're coming up to New Construction Corner, which, look at that, it's not even, it's almost built now. It's now Old Construction Corner, but, God, it just leans so nicely under these, you can really get it down. It is really fun. It's a gorgeous day here as well. It's a little chilly, actually, but it's, um, it's very pleasant to ride on. Now the suspension on this, it has a much sportier suspension than a lot of Harley Davidson, so you are going to feel a few more of the bumps, but it does, you know, it absorbs them fairly well. But you just you feel them a little bit more than you do on a traditional cruiser. And I really enjoy how the, I mean, the engine brake is brilliant on this, as it is with all of them. But this 114 engine, in particular, it's nice and smooth when you do it, and it really is. I love leaning in on this thing; it's so effortless, and I know. <laughs> Sorry, it, it it really goes, man. When you give it something, it will move. It's uh, it scoots its little boot. As they, uh, well, I say that to my little dog when he's oh, he's scooting his boot. Shut up, James. <laughs> but no, it, it, it's um, who's this bike for, right? Uh, who is uh, the FXDR for? I suppose anybody that is uh, a sport bike rider you want to get into a Harley Davidson the FXDR is a pretty good place to start it's gonna feel familiar except for your feet forward but that's something you get used to very very quickly but you definitely you lean forward on this you sort of hunched over the tank a little bit more than you would be on any other cruiser and here's the first slow car of course actually let's see how it does on the corners because this is where I like to test maneuverability and it is just it's effortless man it just goes around the corners and then i think we can probably just accelerate right through this one and it just it's oh it's so good you can really take this around the corners fast it is really really good at doing that the buzziness though i'm feeling it still now i just it's something to note if you if you go for a ride on one of these you are going to feel that and that's just to do with you know how the handlebars are this is oh yeah, man that corner was so easy and you know, it's just, <laughs> it, uh, oh man, it goes, you, you just, it's a lot of fun, it's a, it feels like this very big, powerful machine that you're sitting on, it really is pretty fantastic, it accelerates so nicely too, I mean, it really, you twist the throttle and it just goes, it's fantastic, I've always said I love the 114 engine, on this though, for some reason on this, it just feels, it feels more powerful i don't know why i know it's just a placebo because of the position that you're in it just but it feels like it's got a bit more a bit more to go so anyway we're at the back at the dealership now and so that's the end of the fxdr i hope everybody that wanted to see it enjoyed it it's a great bike um it's definitely not for everyone it's uh, an acquired taste um but i like it i think oh there's my slim very pretty Alright, anyway listen guys, I'll see you next time, thanks for watching, take care, peace!